Hey guys, it's Cheryl here and I just went to IMATS yesterday and I went with my friend and I had the most amazing time. I got to meet some of my fellow bloggers and vloggers and I got to actually meet some of you guys. So I can't even begin to describe to you how amazing of an experience it was for me. Just being there and actually having people approach me and knowing who I was was surreal to me. I can't even be begin to describe honestly how much it meant to me to even be able to talk to even just one of you but it was more so I couldn't even believe it so thank you to everyone who came up to me to say hi I had so much fun talking to you I could probably talk forever about it but even to those of you who said you're too shy or whatever to come up to me I'm so easy to talk to so next time at IMATS be sure you come up and say hi I'll probably talk your ear off so Thank you again so, so, so much for making my IMATS experience unforgettable. And right now, I'm going to show you what I got from IMATS. And first of all, I need to show you, where is it, my IMATS press pass. So I got to go as press to IMATS for my blog, and I just took a lot of pictures. And it was really cool because I got to bypass the whole registration line to sign in. So I got to get in there early and I hit up the Mac booth right away, obviously. And I had a huge list, but I wasn't able to get everything I wanted. Probably two thirds of it was like cut off my list because uh, they didn't have all the products they did last year. They just had strictly pro products. So I only ended up getting one of the palettes. I ended up picking up one of the new clear palettes and I was so excited to get this because as soon as I saw MAC had these palettes that were like the Z palettes released but a better quality and more my style, just plain black, I had to pick one up and I like these a lot better than the old palettes but I'm going to use my old palettes for storage and this palette I want to use for my everyday eyeshadows, so I didn't buy the insert because I just wanted to fill up the palette with as many eyeshadows as I possibly could, but I did for the time being place the eyeshadows that I did end up purchasing at IMATS and everything was 20% off, so I got Retrospect, which I've been dying for and wanting forever, Omega, Cranberry Hoax or Hoak, I don't know. I'm not sure what that one's called. Brown Down or Down Brown. I'm pretty sure it's Brown Down. I always get the two words confused. I don't know why I can't get it right. And then I got Malt. So they're all pretty neutral. Cranberry I really wanted because I want to do some holiday looks with that and Retrospect was on my list forever. So I can't wait to do some new looks with these new eyeshadows. And that is everything that I got from the Mac Pro booth at IMATS. But I did end up going to Square One to go shopping and I found myself in the Mac store there. Surprise, surprise. But it's because I had been putting off buying Mac for a long time. So this list was things that I like really wanted. So I had to go in there and I just ended up paying full price because I wanted to finally get a MAC Studio Fix Fluid, which I'm wearing right now. And I love this foundation. I've only ever had samples of it, but I had, I purchased the shade NC40 because I've been self-tanning a lot lately. And I just absolutely love this foundation when I am tan. I don't know what it is about this foundation, but I think it just is the perfect color for when I'm NC40 and for when I'm like really tan. So this might not be tan to you guys, but it is to me. And I'm absolutely loving this foundation. I also wanted a couple new lip pencils because I only have a red and a beige lip pencil. I wanted to get a couple new colors that I could wear every day. Colors that I ended up purchasing are Subculture and Oak. The top color is Oak and it is a brown shade and the bottom color is Subculture and it is a more pink tone lip liner shade. I am so excited to finally own these two. I've been wanting them forever 
And I also had sore lip pencil on my list as well, but I decided not to get it when I was there because I swatched it. It just seemed too dark and something that I wouldn't really wear all that often. So I probably will be getting a lot of use out of these. I also picked up two of the Sheen Supreme lipsticks. I ended up getting two colors that I love. Right now I'm wearing Insanely It, which is a very vibrant pink, as you can tell, and it has the magenta, a magenta sheen to it. It is such a gorgeous shade, and I can't wait to wear this in the summertime right now with my nails and my lips and makeup. I pretty much look like summer and the fall, so I've been sick of wearing dark colors, and I just wanted to be vibrant and bright today. So I don't care that it's fall or cold months, I want it to be bright today. So this is Insanely It and what it looks like swatched on my hand. And you can tell that there's like a slight magenta sheen to it. And it's just the perfect color for summer months. And I'm going to be bringing this to with me when I go to Cancun in December. So I'm going there for Christmas, which is gonna be weird because I've never been away for Christmas. And I've always done the exact same thing every single year since I was little for Christmas. So it's going to be sad, but it's going to be fun as well. I also bought another color that is definitely me. It's a coral, obviously. My favorite shades to wear. And this is in Blossom Culture. And it looks like that. And it's such a beautiful color. I, initially, I wasn't even going to buy this right now because... I know I have too many coral lipsticks or lipsticks in general, but my friend tried this on at the store and she bought it and then I'm like, I'm going to have to buy it because it looks so good on her. So the bottom one is Blossom Culture and it doesn't last that long on the lips, but it is very nice. The thing I like about Sheen Supreme lipsticks is that they're a cross between a lipstick and a lip gloss, so they're very moisturizing and shiny, but still like pigmented like a lipstick. And insanely, it is actually really nice in the fact that it does stain my lips after it has worn off. So it leaves a really nice residue on my lips, so it's going to be perfect for those warmer months. And that is it for my MAC. You probably thought there was going to be more, so did I, but I thought I did alright. I thought I was pretty good at not going overboard. And then the next place we stopped off at, at IMATS, was the Makeup Forever booth. And initially I didn't have anything Makeup Forever on my list, but I ended up picking up uh, an eyeshadow and a backup of my Makeup Forever waterproof eyebrow corrector. And they call this the Aqua Brow now. And they also changed the numbering of these. So the packaging is a bit different. This is the old one. And you can see the packaging is different from the Aqua Brow, which is the new one. And this is in shade 3, and the new one is shade 30. They're exactly the same. I'm wearing Aqua Brow today to try out and see if it was the same formula and if anything's really changed or the color. And they're exactly the same. So if you were in Number three in the old formula, you will be number 30 in the new. For those of you who have always wanted to try the brow corrector but couldn't find your shade because I think they only had maybe four to choose from, you now have, I think, seven. So I'm sure you'll find your color and it's just a great product. I can't recommend it enough. It is my holy grail eyebrow product. So excited to have a backup even though this is going to still last me forever. I also got number 92 eyeshadow, which is a very vibrant purple, and I just think this will be great as a pop of color for my eyes. My eyes are green, and even with this lipstick, I find that my eyes stand out a lot more, but also with uh, purples, I find my green eyes stand out a lot more as well. After Makeup Forever, we went to Eve Pearl, and the Eve Pearl Salmon Concealer has been on my wish list for so long. And I was going to pick up the duo in light and medium, but they only had the trios available. So I probably wouldn't have got it if the trio was still divided in such a way that all three shades were equal. But now the trio is divided so that there is not as much of the dark shade, which is good for me because light and medium are my shades. And I actually plan on starting to do... Uh, makeup on the side, which I don't know why I put off for so long, but 
now at least I'm going to have a dark concealer for my dark clients. So I'm really excited that I do have that option in this palette even though I am using the light and medium shades for myself. Since I had a little bit of extra money because all my MAC was not available, I ended up going to Graftobian. This was on my list of products that I wanted, but I was going to put off for a bit longer, but I'm so glad I picked it up. This is the Graftobian High Definition Color Palette, and it is their Super Palette in Warm, and this features I think 18 different shades of foundation which is going to be perfect for me because I don't have a range of foundation shades for when I do do people's makeup occasionally. Uh, this was the only thing that I needed was just a range of colors. So they have a list of all the shades on the back and when you open it they're just a big mirror and divided into all your shades. So this palette also comes in cool and neutral, but the warm I thought would best suit not only myself, but uh, a wide range of clients. So I'm excited that I finally have some foundations to work with for when I do start doing people's makeup more often. And then I end up picking up a couple spatulas and a mixing tray. And these are all Graftobian as well. And I just thought this would be great for mixing my foundations and being more sterile, obviously, with products. And then I got the spatula that was just one-ended and a rectangular top. And then I have a dual-ended spatula that is a tapered and slightly curved with a curved square end as well. Probably only needed one of these, but decided to pick up two. So I'm excited to finally have some of these in my makeup collection and now I can maybe start doing makeup for other people more often. Last thing that I got at IMAX, actually not the last thing, one of the last things I got at IMAX on the way out, uh, I saw, I think it was Nigel's Beauty Emporium, they had, sorry my hair in this, they had uh, eyelashes, 7 for $10 and then 15 for 20 I ended up getting the 7 for 10 deal. There were so many people around this place and the eyelashes were selling out pretty fast. So there wasn't much to choose from when I was there. I did end up picking up 7. I picked up 2 of these. One my friend wanted. So I only have 6 for personal use. But I have number G605 and they're very wispy but also very full. So I don't have anything like this in my collection. Excited to try these out. I also picked up uh, three of these, which are the 747M in black, and I figured that these ones would be really good if I just cut them in half and used each of the halves on my eye, and that's what I did with this one, and that's what I did right now. This is what the halves look like, and they look really natural, yet full on my eyes, and they're just great adding a little extra flair to the end corners of your eyes. So really like that I picked up three of those. And then I picked up, I wish I would have picked up more of these, but I don't think they had that many left. Uh, they're the wispy ones, and they look like this. And I think these are just going to be really fun and beautiful to wear. I have nothing like that either. And then this is more a type of eyelash that I typically go towards. It's the DW. They're wispy and full and these kind of remind me of the Ardell Demi Wispies. So excited to try those out and I'm really glad I came across that booth on my way out of IMAT. The uh, last thing I got at IMATS was this bow and they had this booth that was just selling blinged out everything like headbands, bows, rings, uh, bracelets, you name it, and uh, I ended up getting this one. I'm going to just take it out and show you close up. This is what mine looks like, and it catches the light extremely well, and it looks almost animal print, which I thought was so cute and just adds a little touch of glamour to an outfit, and... I'm not one for 
wearing things like this, I guess, that often. I feel like maybe I'm getting too old for it, but you know what? I'm gonna make it work. That is everything that I got from Toronto IMAT. Again, it was really nice meeting you all, bloggers, vloggers, and my subscribers. I had such a fun time, so thank you so, so much again, and thank you for watching my video.